Hey everyone, and welcome to another e-learning support video. This video is going to show you how to access your e-learning course and what to do if you can't see it. All right, let's get to it. So you'll notice we're already logged into Brightspace here, and it's probably important to highlight some of the spaces on the screen to help you access your course. The list of icons at the top of the screen is what we call the mini bar. It's where you can access your profile, notifications, email and instant messages, alerts, and the course selector. This is always available whenever you're inside a Brightspace. Below the minibar is the navbar, which is your main navigational tool. This includes the tools you may use most frequently in your class. Below your navbar, you'll see the widget area, which includes quick access to your courses, Office 365, and additional supports. You can see that the My Courses widget there has two courses visible to your student. Your courses should already be pinned in place, like these ones, but they can be removed by clicking on the unpin icon in the corner. If you can't see your courses, you may have to repin them, and there's two ways to do this. You can select View All Courses and then repin the course you need by selecting the three dots when you hover over it and then selecting Pin. Close this screen and you should see your course again. You can also view all your courses from the Course Selector icon, which looks like a waffle in the minibar. Here you can pin and unpin classes easily as well. But if you still can't see your courses, it may be because your courses widget has been collapsed. This is done by selecting the drop down arrow next to the name and selecting Collapse the widget. If this is the case, simply click on the drop down arrow again and select Expand this widget and your course should be visible. If you're taking a course with a different school board, you won't see it under the My Courses widget, but it will show as a link in the My Courses and Other Orgs widget. This may be collapsed as well, so if you can't see anything there, try expanding it. And if you still can't see your courses, contact your guidance counselor or district e-learning contact. So let's finally jump into a course here by clicking on the image. Once it loads up, notice you can see the minibar as you did on the last screen, but the navbar and widgets area has changed slightly. You have more icons in the navbar that you'll use in class, and the widgets are more for announcements and course updates. Let's take a look at the courses in other orgs. What you should notice is it's a similar look and feel, but the icon in the navbar and the widgets are slightly different. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you in terms of understanding the layout of Brightspace as well as how to access your course, especially if you're unable to see it when you first log in. If you did find it useful, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll check you in our next video.